I'm Anna Ilsley. I'm an artist based in Suffolk. I paint and recently, this last few years, I have learnt fresco. My interests are really surrounding female representation in ancient culture right through to today. I joined the collaboration scheme in, at the beginning of 2019 and I found out about the scheme through alumna Clara Drummond who initiated the programme. Well, Newnham has got a very rich and fierce history of nurturing women and female scholars. And I was very keen to join the college and be a part of the cohort and make work about the history of some hidden histories of women and femininity in this college. The thing that really attracted me to the opportunity was having there being no fixed outcome to the programme and the collaboration, which I know gives absolute creative freedom. The other thing is I know of absolutely no other opportunity where you are able to meet and learn from an academic who is a master within the field and have so many meetings in order to extend your ideas, discuss and free will. And I found, found that very alluring. I collaborated with Dr. Judy Quinn, who is a reader in Old Norse literature. Our collaboration explored female representation across history to the current day and also looked at the anxiety around female sexuality and desire. I was so surprised to discover the role of poetry within ancient Norse society and therefore the arts, the role of the arts. Um, we have Stories of um, a poetess, for example, who was a, an advisor to the king. Her poetry behaved as a diplomatic tool and she delivered advice to the king's son on one occasion in poetry. I made a painting called Battle Maiden and the story goes that she was quite possibly and probably one of the poets who surrounded the king during battle and was responsible for relaying everything that was happening within the battle to the king who was crouched down and um, protected by the shields. I find this use of poetry and this use of the arts as a tool of communication very surprising, very exciting. But I have to say that the thing that will really stick with me and has inspired me so much already was discovering the role of the vulva. Um, a vulva is a Norse seeress or fortune teller. The depictions of her within the sagas, especially the little vulva, are so rich. But it was just the way that she was well paid, well respected, sat on the high table. I found her a really exciting character. Engaging with this scholarly writing, it has influenced my thinking in many ways that are actually yet to reveal themselves. But Working um, and discovering about a time in ancient history involves some sort of grappling in the dark and feeling around within a sort of fog. And I felt that this influenced actually the process of my paintings. There is a lot of layering within the work. There's a lot of excavating within the paint. That I think will stay with me and with the process for a long time yet. One of the major things that has attracted me to this ancient Norse subject and environment has been so thrilling to uh, be working within this context is the multiplicity of personas, the duality um, within the gods in Asgard. Um, and this example that was given to the Norse men and women um, and recognising that right now we're living in a culture where there is not so much duality being put forth. It was very exciting to be able to talk about what is happening beneath the skin rather than just the manifestation of the skin. And so I hope that the painting process, that some of that will come through in, in the work that I made. I will be working with the information that I learned at Newnham for many, many years to come. I've got exhibitions planned in London, run by the British School at Athens, and another exhibition at the Centre for Recent Drawing, and I'll be embarking on a ceramic project this summer. 
My name is Luciano Rosado. I'm a Portuguese artist. I've been living and working in Cambridge since 2009. I'm an abstract painter. And when you see my work, you'll see there's a very strong connection with writing. So I'm interested in exploring concepts of memory, of time and resilience. So I was very interested in an opportunity that would provide me with space and time to uh, develop my practice. And whilst I was searching for opportunities, I came across an open call for this scheme. So I applied and I got selected. Newnham College, even from uh, the website, I could sense a really strong connection with the students and a really strong um, community around the students and a supportive community. My collaboration explored the theme of forced migration and notions of home, identity and belonging. I've worked with two researchers, Dr. Mesna Kato and Dr. Georgia Cole, on how do you build a sense of yourself being a migrant or when you're experiencing transience in your existence. So it kind of broadened up to concepts of failure, resilience, a sense of how do you keep hope in the face of life challenges. I wanted to establish a link between the feelings, the thoughts, the challenges migrants and refugees face. But because of the pandemic, we actually also experienced that all over the world. It, it just came to mind, actually, being a migrant is being a human. It's a human condition, and I really wanted to tap into that in my work. There's a clear line in the sand between what I was doing before the collaboration and what I'm working on now. The conversations I had with the researchers helped me to establish a really good conceptual base. I take a lot from these conversations to my work. So that was one of the most important things to me. I'm focused on beginning and finishing new work with the aim of showing at Newnham College in the end of the year. So I've proposed a one-day workshop uh, that is called the Sea of Possibilities, where I'm hoping to have the input of the college members to produce a collaborative piece to conclude the residency.